Welcome to Flipping PCs Until I Can Afford College. This is episode 6 of the series, and our point is, well, to save up for college. So yeah, I'm probably never finishing this series because of how much college costs. But in the meantime, let's see how much money we can make flipping these computers. So yeah, with this out of the way, let's get on to building this gaming PC. So yeah, these are all the parts that I got. And the first one is the CPU. This is the Ryzen 5 2600. And the reason as to why I got it is because it is still pretty good for early 2023. I got it for a decent price and it came with the CPU itself, the cooler, and that's it. So yeah, it's still pretty good for being a 6 core and 12 thread CPU. So yeah, I thought it was a good pairing for the GPU I got too. So next up is a motherboard. I got a Gigabyte A320M S2H. I got it because it was pretty cheap and I wanted to have the IO shield because a lot of the used motherboards do not have it. I think it looks pretty ugly in the finished build. So yeah, I also got it because it has uh, Ryzen 3000 compatibility. And while this is not Ryzen 3000, I just wanted to future prove the possible future customer. So yeah, I mean, this is this only has two slots of RAM, but I, I didn't find that to be super bad. Yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't too bad. I thought the build quality was pretty good too. And yeah, so yeah, overall pretty good motherboard. Yeah, not too bad for the price. So next up is our memory. I got sil silicon power, two sticks of eight gigabytes at 3,200 megahertz. I got them because they're pretty good value, honestly, because they're new and they're pretty cheap. And also it's, I got it because it was two sticks of eight gigabytes. And like I said before, this motherboard only has two slots available for memory. So yeah, I thought they look pretty good too, which is also a part of why I got them. And for GPU, I got an XFX RX 580, four gigabytes. That was a GPU that was, it was a smoker's GPU. So I had to clean it. It was pretty disgusting disgusting but i had to i'm not gonna give a dirty and crusty gpu to someone and possibly give them lung disease or something so yeah that gpu pairs up pretty well with that ryzen 5 2600 i, I got it also looked pretty good actually so the only detail was that i had to clean it but otherwise it works perfectly fine and for the case i got a rosewell spectra d100 and honestly for the price i got it for new i thought it was amazing honestly and a spectra d100 specifically has four rgb fans pre-installed overall the build quality was amazing rosewood case did not feel cheap as the other cases i had like the sama sama m2 argb case but yeah overall pretty good case for the money and for storage i went with the natac 500 gigabyte ssd they're super cheap on ebay and they're new even though they're sata i like using natac um pretty reliable has never failed me last but not least i got the thermaltake smart 500 watt power supply these power supplies are beginning to get more expensive so i'm probably gonna st i'm probably gonna stop using these because first of all they're not very high quality but they're reliable and never never failed me but i'm probably i'm thinking of switching honestly to something more something better for the money i'm probably gonna look for more power supplies on evga midweek madness because i know there's some good deals over there um so yeah so with this all out of the way let's get on to building this gaming pc So yeah, this is the finished build. It cost me this amount of money on the uh, on the screen, and this is after tax and shipping too. I think personally, it, it's pretty good for for your for the money. I like to with my PCs. I like to include Wi-Fi because I've had an issue with with the customer before that I didn't have Wi-Fi. He messaged me like a couple times, just telling me that I scammed him. Now I do that. I include it in every single build. So I think this build came out pretty nice. I cable managed it. I'm not the best cable manager out there, but but yeah. What do you guys think of this build? Tell me in the comments. And stay tuned for episode 7 that I'm currently working on. And expect benchmarks soon because I have the SSD. But yeah, that's it. See ya.